Hello and welcome to BioCode. Hope you are doing well. The agenda of our lecture is using the PDB SUM tool to evaluate the docking complexes. Uh, we will uh, be evaluating a protein protein docking complex and a protein ligand docking complex in this uh, lecture. The protein protein docking complex and the protein ligand docking complex that we will be using here, we have already evaluated that. In, in the PDB EPSA lecture. If you haven't watched that lecture, you can uh, refer to the PDB EPSA evaluation of docking uh, complexes on the BioCode platform. Moreover, if you want to know about the protein protein docking and the protein ligand docking using the molecular operating environment software, the lectures are also available on the BioCode platform. And so, let's get started with the PDB sum. The link to the PDB sum will be provided in the transcription here you can see the window that opens in the pdb sum here you have some browse option uh, the list of pdb codes the het groups the ligands the drugs and the enzymes so you can click on each of them and browse to the uh, to the uh, to the structure that you want to uh, evaluate using the pdb sum or here you can provide the pdb code that you have you can provide the title of the paper, the title of the paper, the name of the compound, the name of the author, etc. in this search box and click on search. Here you can provide the sequence of the protein that you are looking for in the pasta format. Uh, you can provide the Uniprot ID, the PPAM ID for uh, small compounds and the ensemble ID. But in this case, I will be uh, providing the files from my own computer. So that's why I will click on the generate file. Once you get to the generate file, here you get an option choose file. So in choose file, I will upload first of all the protein protein uh, ligand protein protein docking complex. Here in this complex, the receptor is a tall like receptor 2 and the ligand is the vaccine protein that I have. And generated in my previous studies so actually i want to evaluate which residues of the ligand protein is interacting with which residues of the uh, tall like receptor protein so i will load the file to the pdb sum so click on open and here you can see the file is loaded now in this box you will provide your email id so i will provide my email id and click on upload once you click on upload you will get a message. This will take some uh, 10 to 15 minutes to provide the results in your email inbox. Here you can see your structure has been queued and will have its PDB sum pages generated at the next run of PDB sum update program, which currently runs every hour. When the pages for your entry have been generated, you will be sent an email to give you the PDB code and password access via PDB sum. So the next you are gonna do is check your uh, email inbox after uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So here you can see I have received an email from PDB sum. I can access the results uh, click by clicking on the first link and then give the PDB code and the password that has been generated for the structure that I provide. Or I can just simply click on this uh, the second link and it will take me to this uh, page. So here in this page you can see the structures that I have provided uh, here. You can see in this purple color this is the receptor, the tall like receptor and in the red you can see this is the ligand protein, the vaccine protein. Here we have two chains, the first chain is the ligand that is the B chain, the 319 amino acids and the second one is the uh, 527 amino acid, the receptor chain, the tall like receptor that is denoted as uh, A. Here you can see this is chain B and this is chain A. On the magnifying glass, if you click on it, you will see the domain and other details of both the receptor and the ligand protein. Here this provides the uh, project. The project generated here is the Ramachandran plot for the uh, provided structures. So here in the red area, this is the uh, favored area. And uh, here you can see the brown area denotes the uh, allowed area and, uh, and the yellow area here denotes the generously allowed area. And then the white area, the whitish area that you see here, these are, this is the disallowed region. 
so uh, we prepare it when most of the residues fall in the brown and the red areas okay so that was the project and this is in the top page here you can see the date provided the authors the source and the uh, pdb now click on the protein here and herein you can see the secondary structure of the protein so this is chain b or ligand protein 319 residues and this is the secondary structure generated for our ligand protein so here this red uh, area this uh, in the structure provides um, information about the alpha helix this is the alpha helix and this arrow shows the beta sheets and this pin here this shows the hairpin uh, structure the key is given here you can uh, see the beta turn the uh, uh, gamma turn you can see these are the beta uh, the beta turn this is the beta turn and here you can see the gamma turn as well this is the hairpin and you can see the helix are counted as h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and uh, so on if you want to know about the motifs here you can click on the pro motif and it will provide all the information regarding the motifs but in this lecture we are not concerned with the mo motif so we will not discuss it for now if you click on this uh, magnifying glass it will provide the secondary structure in more detail so here you can see the structure has revealed with higher quality you can save this image for your uh, use in uh, manuscripts so i do not need that for now so i will leave that here you can see in the uh, in each line it will uh, show 60 amino acids as you can see and it will uh, be a red color by default but if you want to see it 30 amino acids in each line and change the color to purple red brown or anything you want so you can choose that as well i will click on cyan and then click on plot so now here you can see i have only 30 residues in each line and the color has changed to cyan so this is the secondary structure provided by the pdb sum so now you will close it and if you want to know about the secondary structure of the receptor protein then you click on chain b and it will show you the secondary structure of the receptor protein the same alpha helix the hairpin the beta alpha and the beta and gamma turns etc if you click on the first half file it will provide you the uh, sequence of this uh, receptor protein in uh, first half format and if you click on uh, any of uh, these it will show you the topology so here you can see the topology file here the arrows let me zoom it for you so here you can see this arrow shows the direction of the amino acids here the arrow shows the alpha and the sorry the beta sheets and the red cylinder shows the alpha helix and this shows the connection between the alpha helix and the beta sheets here it shows the N terminus of the protein and the C terminus of the protein. So if you need this file, you can click on any uh, and get it in any format you like. Just like in this case, you can see this is in the PDB format. I do not need it right now, so I will close it. So this was about the secondary structure uh, about the receptor and the uh, both the ligand protein. And now you will click on the protein protein. So here you can see this uh, red line and this red line indicates the salt bridges. This yellow line indicates the disulfide bonds. The blue line shows the hydrogen bonds and the orange line shows non-bonded contacts. This purple color here shows the here in this image you can see as well and in here in this figure you can see that as well. The chain A represents the receptor protein and the chain B represents the um, ligand protein here the 92 and the metal uh, shows the non-bonded contacts and the one that is blue and that represents the hydrogen bond if you uh, have watched our pdb epsa lecture in pdb epsa lecture the same uh, structure was used the same docking complex was used the same complex was used and it had one hydrogen bond predicted by the pdb epsa tool as well over here you can see the graphical representation of this 
if you want this in any format you want you can click on any of them for now i will click on the list of interactions and open it in new tab so here you can see it shows the hydrogen bond and there is only one hydrogen bond uh, in the protein ligand uh, complex and that bond is between the atom number 5547 of the asn residue and that is the residue 77 in the chain a and the chain a is the uh, ligand uh, sorry the receptor protein with the 3867 number atom that is in the lysine and the lysine is the 259 residue in the chain b at a distance of 3.03 angstroms so there is only one hydrogen bond in this complex and here you can see the non-bonded contacts the atom number the atom name the residue number residue number the chain and then every detail given about the non-bonded contacts as well at the bottom you can see the number of hydrogen bonds predicted one the number of non-bonded contacts 92 so we you know, focus on this hydrogen bond interactions and one hydrogen bond interaction is not enough for a big such a big protein so we will do the same analysis and check the hydrogen bond interaction for all of the complexes provided from the uh, docking uh, results and uh, we will select only that uh, complex that have the higher number that have the highest number of a hydrogen bond interaction between the ligand protein and the receptor protein so now let's get back to the window and close this one you can get this plot in a pdb file as well here you can see you can download this for your publication I do not need it right now so I do not need to download it okay so here you can see salt bridges there are no salt bridges there are no disulfide bonds there are only one hydrogen bond and 92 uh, non bonded contact so you can see the lines these are the dashed lines that you can see these are the non bonded contacts but if you click in observe here this is a blue line this indicates this ASN 77 and lysine 259 you can see the blue line in between this is the only hydrogen bond that exists uh, in this uh, complex so this was all about the protein protein uh, docking complex there are some other options uh, such as clefts pores tunnels etc but uh, for now we are not interested in that and this is not and we should not be concerned with that in this lecture we will come to that in some later lectures okay so you can click on this question mark if you want any detail regarding the pdb sum it's the input file it's output file etc here you can see the top page the protein the dna the lichens the protein protein interaction that we talked about and here the more tips and everything is available here in that question mark the next thing is that uh, I uploaded